this case I'm on, we're stalling and we could use a little external help. Go ahead. I'm with IA now, and we're working a sting on a dirty cop named Jack O'Malley. Elusive, motherfucker. I mean, men in black elusive. We know he's involved in drugs, weapon dealing, tied into the gangs. But he's clever, and we just can't seem to pin anything on him. I swear, he's got friends in high places. Okay, and where do I fit in all this? You're an outsider. You can go places we legally can't. I need someone to do a couple of things. Break into his apartment, sneak into DRB territory, and finally, go undercover posing as a hitman. This guy is nothing minor, Jensen. He's the real deal. Major player, major consequences. We have to get him before shit hits a fan. You in? I guess I am, but let's um, ask about stuff first. I was going to say, I don't think I even said it, I'll say it now. I was, I was, I was curious about whether to turn stuff in before I, I talk to this lady. Um, seems that I've decided. <laughs> um, I don't know whether the plot would move on and we wouldn't be able to do these quests. Uh, if I did turn stuff in. I'm not sure how it would work, to be honest. I've only played through this game once and it was a long time ago, so I don't know. But, um, yeah, we're going to do these quests, but let's ask about stuff first. Let's ask about, uh, yeah, this person that we're supposed to be investigating. How about the target, O'Malley? Got any more info? He's a cop, but he went on assignment with the feds for a while. No reports, no address, nothing. We're pretty sure he got tied up in major covert ops, but never got anything solid on him. He has a badge, but he doesn't feel like a cop at all. And the gangs? I haven't walked the beat in a while. Could you give me a quick sit rep of the local gangs? <sighs> you know, gangs are not the finest example of evolution, if you catch my drift. Everything's pretty much the same. The derelict row ballers are still dealing and stealing, getting into fights with Augs, and defacing augmented people's property. Yeah, right. Upstanding citizens. And then on the other end of the spectrum, you have the Motor City Bangers. Ignorant scumbags, just like the DRBs, only some of them are augmented scumbags. Hmm. Alright. Well, let's accept this. Can't let a guy like that roam free. I'm in. Alright then, let's get to work. Like I said, I've got a couple of very promising leads, but O'Malley's got friends among the powers that be. I wouldn't be able to get my hands on a warrant, even if I had footage of the perp confessing in real time as he's finger-painting his motive on the wall in the victim's blood. So I guess we're going to have to break a few rules. Hmm, let's be brash about it. Suits me. Rules would only slow me down. Hmm, very dirty Harry of you, Jensen. But we still have to be careful how we handle this. Okay. We've worked hard to catch the son of a bitch. I don't want him to walk on a technicality. Bad Jensen. Bad Jensen. Um, let's go to his apartment first. Let's do that one. So what am I looking for in O'Malley's apartment? Information, drugs, weapons, basically anything you think can be used to build a stronger case against him. The more you get, the better. Hmm, alright then. And Hitman? What about the undercover assignment, posing as a hitman? O'Malley's crafty, and even a bit paranoid. He's always using proxies, scapegoats, and red herrings to get us off his ass. But after months of schmoozing, we finally got through to one of his guys. Turned him into a mole. He provides us with information, stuff like that. And he's gonna be my way in? Exactly. Yesterday, another one of O'Malley's guys whacked someone. A drug dealer. There's a witness, but we don't have any details. O'Malley does, and he wants someone to take care of the mess. The usual guy just got busted for possession, so the contact will send you in to pose as his replacement. O'Malley will be waiting for you in an alley next to the police station. And you want me to milk him to get the info on the witness? You haven't lost your touch, Jensen. We think O'Malley will ask you to retrieve the murder weapon, use it to kill the witness, and then plant it on a scapegoat he can arrest later. What you need to do is get that weapon and bring it to me. And what about the witness? We're almost positive he's a member of the MCBs. Once you know the location, you'll need to get there, take care of any opposition, and prep him for retrieval. Prep him? Well, you know, he's a gangbanger, Jensen. He's not going to turn in peacefully, but we need him alive. So I guess you're going to have to play this one macho and knock him out. One of our guys will then just happen to stumble upon him. You know, serendipity. <laughs> yeah, that's all pretty simple. And the shipment! Okay, what's this about getting into DRB territory? Yeah, I needed to get in there and track down a <clears throat> shipment of weapons for me. We managed to gain access to solid information that will tie it to O'Malley, but 
I need proof it's really there. They've probably stashed it around somewhere. A cop dealing weapons to a criminal anti-Og gang? Not a pretty picture. Got that right. I guess we both agree. Nothing good can come out of this, huh? I don't know where exactly the DRB's cache is, but I know there's a bonus for you if you manage to sneak in and out without being spotted. No. Makes shit easier to handle on my side. Okay, let's do this. You can contact me on my info link if anything comes up. Excellent. Oh, and Jensen, one last thing. To protect my cover, it'd be better if you only contact me again once you've taken care of everything. Hmm. Okay, right, we've got a load of arrows pointing everywhere now in all which way direction and stuff. So, let's deal with that. Let's probably go to his apartment first. Uh, oh no, wait, that's just turning that in. I want to turn everything on all at once, honestly. Uh, so, oh right, so I can't turn these off individually, which makes sense. It's the same quest, so let's have a look. So, one wants me to go uh, up here and do that. Derelict row, but without being detected, which kind of sucks because I just kind of, well, I didn't do that over here, but I attempted to. Um, I know it's only a bonus, but it's a bonus that I would like. Um, return to Cassandra Reed. She is just there, I guess. Meet with O'Malley um, and O'Malley's apartment. All right, we are going to um, we're going to turn this in because it's just there. So you know, it makes sense. Let's walk along the road and talk to Megan's mother about this. Oh, these arrows are really annoying. Let us dispose of them. Let's kill them. Inactive. Thank you. It's quite enough on the hood uh, without those. Including a bunch of icons and stuff that I haven't used yet. Whoops. I will though. I will. You know, like the automatic hacking devices that I bought and forgot about. Among other things. I'll fix that right up. There you are. Have you found anything? Please. I've got to know what really happened to Megan. I will complete the quest. I've investigated all of Detective Chase's leads. You were right. Something was off with Megan's case. So, what did you find? Uh, how about the let's talk somewhere else option? <laughs> there are several people around here and this is all quite classified information. But, um, couldn't get through to the guy. That's probably not true and let's not do that. Um... Oh, through to the guy. You mean maybe at the station, but yeah, um, I didn't bother with that. So let's go through the other ones. There were only three people who got out of the labs alive. Me and two others. One died in the hospital a few days later. A second one, a lab tech, was ready to give a detailed description of what he saw. Funny thing is, by the time the investigators got to him, he couldn't remember a thing. You sound like you don't believe that. I don't. Not from the reports I've read. I think someone got to him first. Alright, we probably have to go and see that one, but whoops. Someone in the government, a man named Manderley, ordered that a specially appointed medical examiner perform the autopsy. He bypassed the local ME. Simply put, that's not a good sign. It sure doesn't sound good. And this one. I got my hand on a test report that confirms what was bothering Chase. The attackers use excessive measures to make bodies and equipment unidentifiable. Oh my god, Megan. What do you make of this, Adam? I don't know exactly. I guess the idea was to leave no traces, no DNA evidence that would link back to them. But it just seems a bit too convenient. And finally, I didn't talk to the dude. Chase told me an officer assigned to the case may have been less than professional. But it was a dead end. I couldn't get through to the guy. Hmm. Well, I'm sure you did what you could, Adam. So what you're telling me is we couldn't find anything conclusive? No, I'm sorry. But one thing's for sure. Somebody's been hard at work covering up and destroying evidence related to this case. Somebody with power. Who wanted to erase anything that might have made the investigation linger. You can have the bracelet.